A sad update for you tonight on a very sad story, the story of Kate Steinle. Steinle's family already lost its chance at justice last year, you'll remember, when a jury failed to convict the illegal immigrant Jose Garcia Zarate of murder or even manslaughter for shooting her to death on a pier in San Francisco. Now federal judges are doing their part to inflict even more pain on Steinle's family and to make a mockery of our laws. Just on Friday, a California appeals court threw out Garcia Zarate's only conviction. That was for being a felon in possession illegally of a firearm. Now, he is a felon, and he was carrying a firearm. Nobody disputes that. Instead, the court found a legal technicality throughout the conviction. So for now, Garcia Zarate is still in federal custody on criminal charges, but that charge has been thrown out. We've learned a lot about the priorities of the ruling class in this case. Jose Garcia Zarate was deported from this country five separate times. He was a convicted felon. He had been arrested multiple times on drug charges, including just months before he murdered Kate Steinle. And when those charges were dropped, he was simply released instead of being kicked out of the country. Again, deported five times. So Kate Steinle's death never should have happened. We knew that. But it did happen because powerful people in this country won't tolerate even dangerous criminals being kept out of this country. They are so extreme, and they've become this way. They weren't always this way, but they've become so extreme on the left that not only are they unwilling to stop a murderer, they're unwilling to punish him after he's been caught. That can't continue. Meanwhile, in a related story back near the nation's capital, authorities in Montgomery County, Maryland, right outside the D.C. line, have arrested yet another illegal immigrant for another violent sex crime against another child. Emilio Carrasco Hernandez is an illegal arrival from the country of Honduras. According to police, he sexually assaulted his 15-year-old stepdaughter. Carrasco Hernandez is the seventh illegal immigrant arrested for a sex crime in Montgomery County just since July 25th. Vince Colonies has followed these stories closer than maybe anyone else in the region. He's a D.C. radio host with WMAL Radio, and he joins us tonight. Vince, thanks a lot for coming. Thank on. you, Tucker. So why are we just learning about this now? Is there some reason that seven of these stories have come to light in such a short this time? Isn't, this is the question, and it's an important one. The Carrasco Hernandez, by the way, already deported from the United States in 2017. He made his way back into the country thanks to our porous border policies. So he does this, and now he's a raped a 15-year-old girl. And we talk about seven is the number you've brought up since July 25th. That's the number of people who've, the number of people who've been arrested on rape or sexual abuse charges. The majority of these cases, sexual rape or abuse of a minor. These are children who are being hurt in almost all of these cases. The reason why we're all of a sudden finding out about this co concentration of stories is not that this is a new phenomenon. It's that rank and file police officers and prosecutors in Montgomery County are furious at their own leadership for allowing this problem to continue to fester as long as it has. These stories haven't been public before because they've been trying to deal with them, but now they're done dealing with them. Montgomery County leadership, led by Mark Elrich, who's the county executive, he's the top elected official in the county have made it so that Montgomery County, Maryland specifically is a place where illegal immigration is protected at all costs, even at the expense of the community. And now cops and prosecutors are furious and they're taking matters into their own hands. They want these stories out there. God bless them for doing that because by publicizing these crimes, really that's the, that's the only recourse I think that people have. Mark Elrich, the county executive who maybe more than any other person made this possible, uh, has sat for an interview with you. Yes. What was his explanation for this? He doesn't have explanations. He has, he, he blames a lot. He, he points fingers at the federal government for allowing illegal immigrants to be in the area. He says that illegal immigration shouldn't even be considered a problem. And when posed, when I posed questions to him about all of this, he, he responded to me, well, what do you think we should do? Deport all illegal immigrants? And my response to him was really simple. My, it's, if you don't like the laws of this country, work to change them. But in the meantime, enforce them. And that's not what they're doing in Montgomery County. And in fact, in late July, he passed an executive order codifying what was already heading in this direction in that county, saying, if you're a county official, you are not allowed to inquire about immigration status. You are not allowed to allow federal agents into jails in Montgomery County. The feds have to stand outside and catch these guys when they're coming out of the jail. Actually, it makes it a more unsafe environment to have, this, have somebody ejected into the public and then caught by the feds rather than a peaceful prisoner transfer. The feds have probable cause to make these arrests. They're issuing detainers because they've already done the research into establishing this is somebody we believe to be illegally in the country. 
Montgomery County saying we're not going to work with you. I'll tell you here, one story that I was so stunned by. I was talking with one source that said inside of these jails, they've gotten calls from feds who say that guy's MS-13. Do not release him. And then they release him. They don't have an address on file. And he looks at these jailers in the face. He'll smile and he'll walk right out the door. Meanwhile, children are raped. Even yeah. in a left-wing county like Montgomery County, you have to think there are people, Democrats, think this is too much. This yes. Is, this is, and they do. I'm glad.